out till the lights go out. So like Holet. Uh, hey guys, <laughs> and welcome back to some Sakura Shrine Girls. My name is AJ Styles 1257, and uh, yeah, last time we met a hot fox girl babe, which was, you know, pretty good. But uh, yeah, I was gonna play Don't Starve and record that, but uh, I kind of ran into some. Uh, how you say trouble no no and so yeah I'm gonna have to start over with that so I'm gonna do that off screen but for right now we're gonna do Sakura Shine Girls and let's get into it Grandpa, Grandpa 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 didn't say much on the way home he only talked about mundane Mundane things like how he needed to weed the garden. Oh, I need to smoke a joint in the garden. You mean the weed? Oh, yeah, yes. And yet, I'm sure that he knew that I wasn't quite myself. Now it's midday, and I have just been sitting here. I'm sure of what to think. Was, was there really someone there? And the way she was dressed. My God. The way she was dressed. Something about her didn't really seem that human. Well, she had fox ears and a fox tail. So, yeah, not very human. Let's not even mention how I saw cat ears and a tail. Well, wait, was it a fox or cat? I, I can't remember. Hey, Toru! You're going to have to come down for lunch eventually. I'll be down there soon. Just need a moment. Come on! The food's going to get cold if you don't hurry up, you old fart! Grandpa, you're 60 years old. No, I'm not! Wait, what time is it? I'd better go down there. Grandpa has already set the table neatly, waiting just for me. You darn! You took one minute! You're grounded! There you are! I was wondering if you had been sucked into an alternate dimension! <laughs> it'd be it'd explain why it took you such a long time to get down here, you slowpoke! I do not see something like that happening anytime soon. Well, if he went to the first game, he would. You never know! Uh, the veil between worlds can be very, very... Then, Grandpa? Grandpa! <laughs> and you can slip in between them without even noticing. Just like putting your hand into the ocean. I guess that's kind of true. There he goes, saying things like that again. Like that. Then again, considering what I saw today. Oh! Oh! Is something wrong, Grandpa? Oh, I'm just having a heart attack. No problem. Normally, you get this look on your face when I talk about things that like that. I know that you're a skeptic, but now it's down in your eyes. Mmm. Here's a wi wide grin on his face. You saw something, didn't you? Oh yes. My boy's getting old. Even though you're not my son, I know that you did. I just shake my head at him. I didn't see anything. Don't lie to me! Even if I did, I'm sure that it was just my imagination. Oh, but it wasn't. Oh, now why would you say something like even if I did? Hmm, that means you did. He leans over to the table. Oh, can you see me now? Because I can't see you. It's almost like something did happen, but you're denying it. Mm -hmm. Grandpa, are you okay? I'm just clearing my throat. Who are you trying to convince? You or me? Mm. I'm telling you that I didn't see anything. It's just an old building and my eyes were playing tricks on me. What are you, smoking cannabis? 
Yep. That's what I said when I first saw them, too. What do you mean, them, exactly? The spirits, of course. You dumb little... Mm, oh, Lord. There should be one of each building at those temple grounds. How would he know that? I'm a priest, you idiot! No, this has to be Jack. I'm getting, like, too used with that grandpa voice. Look, I never believed in any of this spirit business. I am just doing this to keep a family tradition alive. You don't have to do it! There isn't any such thing as spirits or other world or anything like that. Hmm, I don't believe in spirits. Grandpa just starts snickering to himself. <laughs> oh boy! If you're having a hard time with it now, I hope you're ready for what's going to come next. Children! <laughs> Can we please not say such ominous things during lunch? Alright, alright. Jeez. Eat up. There's plenty to go around. Just for the two of us, you know. A hot meal should help me get my mind off things. It's on the little body. Grandpa's cooking is surprisingly good. Hey! What are you talking about surprisingly? I guess he had to learn how after Grandma passed away. Oh, yeah. Way to bring it down, man. Way to bring it so sad. Maybe this cooking is the reason why he has so much energy. Yeah, I put sugar and all types of protein in my food. He loves his spices, especially chili and oregano or something like that. I wonder if he ever thinks of her when he's cooking. Nope, never. I've never seen you have an appetite like this before. Maybe you're a nervous eater. Hmm. There's another sly smile on his face. Why would I be nervous though? He leans on the table with one elbow. Is that you? Are you over there? Wrong way, Grandpa. Why don't you tell me? I shake my head again. Alright, don't need to be like that. Could you clean the dishes when you're done? I need to go get some rest. Grandpa's doctor. Doctors have. Grandpa's doctors have said that he needs to get bed rest regularly. Well, if I'm here, I might as well be helpful. Sure, no problem. Go get some rest, Grandpa. You're a good kid, Toto. A bit too serious, you tend to overanalyze things. But you're a good kid. Maybe a little shit sometimes. Alright, I get it. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't be far away if you need anything. No worries. Sleep well. He shuffles upstairs, heading straight for his bedroom. <laughs> well then. <laughs> that went perfectly. That's the sound he makes up. <laughs> and then he's like, well then. He was really on my case. I know that he's a big believer in these kinds of things. But I don't want to have that kind of talk with him. I, as I scrub the pork saline, pork saline dishes, I can't help but think over who I saw again. She was beautiful. I know that she has a great figure, but I was more captivated by her eyes than anything. That's some bullshit right there, and you know it. Distinct golden amber eyes. Was I really just imagining all of it? Well, there's no explana explaining how or why she had a cat tail or anything like that. So, it couldn't have possibly been real. Just, ah, pass by it. It's not real. With that said, I think that this should be the last time I think about it. If there are any noises in those shrines, I won't go investigate them. It's not that I think that I will find anything. But somehow I feel that I should not indulge my curiosity. It's just a little horse. Wait. I think I hear something moving upstairs. Eh? It's probably just Grandpa going to answer nature or something. Oh, I can take it up. Can you just scrap the dishes, bud? Wait. 
What's with these bubbles? Giant, gigantic, gigantic soap bubbles emerge from the sink, floating lazily in the air. I look deeper into them, and their reflection. I can't quite make out what I see in their depths. All of them pop at once in my face. Oh God! What was that exactly? Something about the air feels. Uh, I can't quite put my finger on it, but something does not feel right. You just said that. It feels odd. It's nothing's not right. I get it. Wait. I still hear movement upstairs. And I can hear the distinct creak of my bedroom door opening. How would Grandpa be entering my room? I'm just trying to find your magazines. I put down the plate and I am cleaning and head upstairs. The door to my room is unhinged. I definitely left it closed when I left. Looking over to Grandpa's room, his door is firmly shut as well. He always leaves it open whenever he leaves the room and plans to go back there. We'll go back there. So if it wasn't him who opened the door to my room, who was it? Well, check! I have to look. I open the door wide open. Give it. I open the door wide open. What? I open the door wide open, giving me an obstructed view of my room. What? Why is this girl in here? Look at that booty and those boobies. Oh my god! Why am I making that sound and voice? She actually is quite cute. Look at those stuckies. <laughs> Freaking uh, normal. But yeah, okay. Da da da. Who? What? A girl is lying on my bed, curled up into a ball. Her delicate pale skin practically shimmers in the rays of the sun. The sun. Am I messing up so many words? She already seems to be fast asleep, comfortably snuggling into my blanket. How do you- blankets? How do you sleep that fast? Like, come on. I probably get closer to her. She seems to shift a little bit, but she just settles back in. Strange feeling. She's a captivating. It's like- it's like back at the shrine. Despite myself, I cannot help but stare. She has furry, snow white cat ears and a tail. She's just like the strange looking shrine maiden. But somehow she is different. Well, she looks different. No less beautiful, however. I better not let my eyes wander even though she's wearing such short shorts. I see you, fam. I got you. And her top is so loose. A pity might fall out. And she's wearing a bra. Is she wearing a bra? Doesn't look like she is. No, no! Can't let myself be distracted by this nonsense. Nonsense, she's laying in your bed. You should be like, hey girl, what's up? <laughs> this is just a hallucination. Him and halluc- like what would you be on if you, like what are you taking that you think you're on hallucinations on hallucinations? Hey, you. She just buries her face deeper into the bed cover. What are you doing on my bed? She yawns loudly. Oh god, how are you? I'm sleepy. And it looked so comfortable on your bed. The sun is shining through the window just the right way. It's true. She's soaking up the sunlight just like how a cat would. No! <laughs> uh, but you just broke into my house. My home. I have to call the police. I know that my bed might be comfy, but you can't stay here. What the fuck? My bed might be that comfy, but that doesn't allow you to break into my house. What are you talking about? Why not? It's illegal. How do you get in here? How did you get in here anyway? There's always a way. You just have to find the right place at the right time. That is the nature of slipping in between worlds. 
where your hand enters where your hand enters the puddle it may not end up in the same place on the other side she's spouting the same kind of nonsense that my grandfather would all right enough of this are you working with my grandfather <laughs> are you working with him is this some sort of joke Who, whose grandparents is gonna be like hey I want hey you girl over here I want you to sneak into my grandson's room and freaking lay in his bed and then talk the same nonsense I do. You got it? Okay. Are you also working with that other girl I saw at the shrine? Oh my goodness, this guy. Kayo? That Kayo? That black cat? She's nothing but bad luck. I'd never work with her. Even though she does open her eyes, I can see a frown from on her face. Well then. Well... When you're done napping, please see yourself out. Who just lets the person- Okay, you can sleep here. But when you're done, you have to leave. This guy's an idiot! Okay... No problem. A smile returns to her face as she stretches out, letting the sun's rays soak in her alablaster alablaster skin i can't help but keep looking at her and then slowly back out of the room this guy's a boss what the heck you don't even stay here oh i'm triggered i'm triggered oh my freaking god dot 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 Am I going mad? Yes, you're going mad because you're a freaking idiot. You, oh, oh, I'm so mad at you, Tayo. Whatever, Toyo. Whatever, Toro. I don't know. I don't want to open the door again. If I look there and she's still on my bed, happily lying in the sun's rays, if that actually happened, then. And what does that mean? What does this mean? Does this mean spirits are real? I thought my grandfather was just becoming senile. What are you thinking? You're a dirtbag. Hey, I heard that. But what if? Toto, who are you talking to? I'm trying to sleep, damn it. Grandpa walks out of his bedroom, rubbing some sleep out of his eyes. Oh, oh. Now look on your face. It's there again. Oh, yeah. You saw something again, didn't you? Oh, you lucky rascal. No, you were just hearing things, Grandpa. Don't bullshit me. Oh, come on. I mean, is isn't that bad yet. And I definitely know that I heard a girl's voice in your room. It, that was just me. I was practicing for a play. Don't tell me that you've already got a girlfriend from around here. You didn't hear anything, okay? Why would you, why would you hide this from your Grandpa? Like, I don't want him to be right. I didn't hear anything either. Well, there's nothing wrong with starting early, you know. When I was your age, I was already married and on my way to paying off my mortgage. What the heck? What? 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 Look, can we please dro just drop this? Judging by the look on his face, he isn't satisfied just yet. He looks over at my closed bedroom door. Well, just indulge me. Just indulge me. Mind if I take a look in your room? My blood freezes as he says that. What is he gonna do if he does find the girl? Is he gonna be like, You're getting kicked out! What are you so worried about? It's not like that there's anything there, right? So it'd be fine to have a look, isn't it? I, I guess so. Come on then. Since you're woken me up, it's only fair that you let me be a bit nosy. All right, I'll show you that there, that there's nothing there. Sure enough, as we step into the room, there's not another soul to be seen. Even though there's a sly smile on my grandpa's face. Ah, I see. You were watching porn. I was like, no. So well, that's how it is. What? What is it? He just shrugs. Who knows? In my hearing really is going. Anyway, Toru, don't stress out too much about things like that. 
It's important that you find a good girl and start a proper family with her. There's going to be a lot of cute girls when you start going to school around here. Trust me. I don't want to know how he knows that. I'm a pedophile. So just choose wisely. You never know who you might meet. Alright, alright. I get the point. Go get some sleep, okay? I'll make sure I'm quiet. I'll make sure the dishes are clean by the time you wake up. Sounds good, Tutter. I'll talk to you later. He slips back out of the room. I breathe a sigh of relief as I hear his bedroom door close. He has to know more about this than I don't know. You keep on avoiding it, but, and then you're like, he must know something. And then, ah, oh, it's Utaru. Utaru, you make that happen. Whoever those two weird cat women, whatever they're supposed to be, he has to know something about them. I'm certain of it. I mean, he said it earlier. It's like, I've seen them before, the spirits. And then you're like, nah, nah, I don't believe it. And then you're like, what is this? And then it's like, I don't know. I walk over to my bed and take a seat. My hand trails ac across the blanket, feeling the warmth of the midday sun streaming from my window. Did I really just imagine that? Perhaps I did. But even if I had to have to admit that this warmth I fell on my bed is perfectly shaped. And it does not feel like the warmth you get from sunlight. Was, was it real? I don't know. I'm a skeptic. I do not simply imagine things. Nor have I ever imagined things. Nor have I ever imagined things. Oh my freaking god. So what does it mean if I start seeing things like this? You're a schizophrenic. That's what it means. You don't see spirit. After some sleep and some time spent thinking, I've managed to collect my thoughts. And I guess this is where we're gonna end it off here for freaking this stupid freaking Toru always thinking. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is. This him thinking makes my head hurt. He's just like, this is just imagination. Freaking plot wise. This is worse than freaking Two Love Rue with uh, freaking what's his face? Rito. I'm trying to get the girls. Oh god. But, um. I'd like to thank y'all guys for watching. Leave a like if you like this, of course. Yeah, again. Uh, leave a comment of what you think's gonna happen next. You probably see noble stuff, so you probably know what's gonna happen, or you don't want to watch my stuff. That's fine. I'm making stuff to make stuff. And um, just uh, leave a comment of what you think I should play next. Like on the phone and blah 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 blah. Uh, go follow me on Twitter. The link for my profile will be in the description down below. And subscribe to see more of my content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.